now after solving some questions on square and rectangle let us now move on to finding the perimeters of triangle and quadrilateral this is the topic what we are discussing perimeter of a triangle and a quadrilateral let us see some very very good examination questions we will also see which examination which question was asked and we will solve it in the most easiest way possible now a quick recap a quick recap of all the properties not probably all the properties of triangle and quadrilateral but only we are discussing right now based on perimeter let us only discuss on those things now the meaning of perimeter perimeter is nothing but sum of all the sides right perimeter is nothing but sum of all the sides which you already know it sum of all the sides of any closed geometrical figure is nothing but a perimeter now suppose for example i will take a general triangle general triangle i will name it as abc opposite side of angle a is small letter a opposite side of angle b is small letter b opposite side of angle c is small letter c now perimeter of this triangle is given by sum of the three sides one of the side is a other side is b and the third side is c sum is nothing but a plus b plus c right sum is nothing but a plus b plus c now this is the perimeter of a general triangle now this general triangle which is having all the three sides as a different which in turn we call it as scalene triangle also scalene triangle is nothing but the general triangle whatever i took right now if i make all the three sides the same it becomes an equilateral triangle that means if i name this equilateral triangle as abc if i name the angle or side opposite to angle a as small letter a equi the name itself suggests equi means equal all the three angles of this triangle are equal all the three sides of this triangle are also equal if one of the side is named as a other two sides also will become a and a respectively perimeter is a plus a plus a perimeter of an equilateral triangle is three times of the side which you are already aware of now instead of making all the three sides same instead of making all the three sides same i will make only two sides same i will make only two sides same it becomes an isosceles triangle that means if i call these two sides as a and a respectively two equal side one unequal side perimeter of this isosceles triangle is it is a plus a plus b it is 2a plus b if i make all the three sides same equilateral or two sides same isosceles all the three sides unequal then it is scalene triangle which i have to told it as a general triangle now this is not only true in case of a triangle it is also true in case of a quadrilateral now suppose for example i have i have a rectangle length of the rectangle is l breadth of the rectangle is b i am going little faster because these are all something which you are already aware of perimeter of rectangle is l plus b plus l plus b which is 2l plus 2b or it is 2 into l plus b perimeter of the rectangle is 2 into l plus b similarly if i take a square all the sides in a square are same right all the sides in a square are same perimeter of a square is a plus a plus a plus a which is nothing but four times of a right which is nothing but four times of a and suppose for example if i take a circle right if i take a circle now circle is nothing but suppose this is the center of a circle this is the radius perimeter of this circle i am not going to the proof of this i am just giving you a hint or i am just giving you the notation perimeter of circle is also known as a circumference of circle because it is circle instead of saying it as perimeter we will use a different terminology called as circumference that's the only difference circumference of the circle or the perimeter of the circle is a 2 pi r i know that you all know all these things already but let us see some very good questions which are come in the exam we will not take so many questions which are not come in the exam sir everything what i will be taking is an exam question irrespective of whether that question is an easy question or medium level question or a difficult question i want to complete i want to take all the questions which are come in the exam that is my ultimate intention now this is with respect to perimeter of a triangle and 
two quadrilateral square and rectangle is what we have discussed in this particular case now suppose for example suppose for example before moving on to problem i have a number called as 1 by 2 another number is 1 by 3 another number is 1 by 4 they are in ratio 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 is to 1 by 4 ratio now first thing is these are all fractions and i have explained very clearly in my time speed and distance time and work and so many topics that solving by fractions is a very very time consuming process and i have proved it with so many difficult questions also how you are way how you are whole number problem way of solving way of pro solving problem will be very fast compared to fractional way of solving a problem i want you people to eliminate by using fraction solving fractions that means i don't want the two in the denominator if I don't want the 2, I should multiply numerator by 2. Similarly, I don't want this 3 also to be there. I don't want this 4 also to be there in the denominator. That means I will make all the 3 numbers 2, 3, 4 as the same number. I will make all these 3 numbers 2, 3, 4 as the same number. And because it is ratio, I will cancel at the end. What is the number which is the common number for all these 3 numbers 2, 3, 4? That number is nothing but LCM. LCM is 12. That means uh, 2 into 6 is 12. Multiply numerator also by 6. 3 into 4 is 12. Multiply numerator also by 4. 4 into 3 is 12. Multiply numerator also by 3. That means uh, first number becomes 6 by 12. Second number becomes 4 by 12. And the last number becomes 3 by 12. I don't want you people to work with fraction. Cancel this common denominator called as 12. You will be only left with whole numbers called as 6 is to 4 is to 3. And that is nothing but equal to whatever you have got initially as 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 is to 1 by 4. 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 is to 1 by 4 is nothing but very much similar to or same as not not even similar it is exactly same as 6 is to 4 is to 3 i hope the idea is clear why are you discussing this fraction to whole number conversion ratio in terms of ratio sir because i need it in problems so beginning itself i thought let me explain you people so that you will not face any difficulty in solving problems now let us immediately switch on to our first problem on this particular topic ssc cgl prelims examination question in the year 2000 the question says the sides of a triangle are in the ratio 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 is to 1 by 4 that means there are three sides I will call the side ratio as 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 is to 1 by 4 which just now I proved it to you saying that it is 6 is to 4 is to 3 right it is 6 is to 4 is to 3 now in our textbook the usual way of solving is let me call it as 6x 4x and 3x that means there is a triangle one of the side of this triangle is 6x another side of this triangle is 3x another triangle is 4 another side is 4x now if the perimeter of the triangle if the perimeter of the triangle is 52 centimeter that means perimeter is 3x plus 4x 7x 7x plus 6x is 13x perimeter actually is 13x but question says 52 x is nothing but 52 divided by 13 13 into 1 13 into 4 x value is 4 centimeter find the length of the smallest side smallest side is nothing but 3x back substitute the value of x so it is 3 into 4 answer for this question is 12 centimeters which is option c why to use variable method i already taught you similar kind of questions in my previous classes in mensuration do not use it as 6x 4x and 3x that means side ratio sides ratio is given in the question it is given in the question as 6 is to 4 is to 3 that means i will assume that one of the side is 6 itself instead of taking it taking it as 6x i will assume it as 6 itself i will assume the second side as 4 i will assume the smallest side as 3 that means perimeter according to the ratio according to the ratio perimeter is nothing but 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 3 13 according to ratio 13 question says it is 52 13 into which number is 52 
13 into 4 is only 52. This 4 is nothing but uh, the value of x which you got in method 1. Both are absolutely same but try to avoid fractions. According to ratio it is 52. According to question it is 52. 13 into 4 is 52. They are asking you to find the length of smallest side. Smallest side according to ratio is 3. That also multiply by 4. 3 into 4 is 12. You don't need to write 3x then substitute x value and then waste your time. Now, this is one of the question which had come in 2000. In the year 2000, this question had come. Similar kind of question had come once again in the year 2010. That question we will solve it right now. Sir, why are you stressing that point? Once it had come in 2000, next time it had come in 2010. Why are you stressing that point and saying, sir? Because there are so many students who are thinking right now while watching the video saying that this kind of questions might not come in the examination at this present moment. And if you are thinking like that, I will definitely say that you are thinking is incorrect. Why? Because you cannot expect you cannot expect what is the kind of situation a examiner or an examiner paper setter will be at that moment. He might add all these things. You, you are thinking that it came in 2019 years before. 2010 once again it came that is what I am saying you people that means it came in the year 2010 means it is 9 years before. Sir, is that the end in 2010 after that did we get something somewhere again yes similar kind of question had come in 2013 again six years before there is no rule that you should not get it this year also don't be in an assumption assumptions will always make you people to go behind the race especially while preparing for ssc cgl kind of examination assumption if you assume no, 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 yaar, I won't this kind of, get this kind of question in exam, let me ignore it. And if you get it, if you don't know how to solve it in a faster way, you are actually delaying or lagging in the race. Please stop assuming the things. Do not take any, take any little chances. Try to grab or learn all the possible varieties whenever or wherever it is available. I hope the idea is clear. Sir. Now let us solve a similar kind of question which had come in 2010. See the question, sir. Your question is, the sides of a triangle are in the ratio 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4, 1 by 5. I will call the three sides as A is to B is to 3. 1 by 3 is to 1 by 4 is to 1, 1 by 5. That means uh, 3, 4 and 5. LCM is 60. 3 into which number is 60? 3 into 20 is 60. 4 into 15 is 60. 5 into 5 into how much sir? 60 right? 5 into 12 is 60. 20 into 1 is 20. 15 into 1 is 15. 12 into 1 is 12 into 1 is 12. I hope the idea is clear. That means the side ratio according to the ratio is 20, 15 and 12. That means can I say that according to the ratio perimeter of the triangle is 20 plus 15 is 35. 30 plus 5 plus 12 is it is 47. According to ratio 47. According to question it is given. Its perimeter is 94 centimeter. According to ratio 47. According to question 94. Multiply by 2. Find the length of the smallest side of the triangle. According to ratio, smallest side is 12. According to question, how much? Multiply that also by 2. 12 into 2 is how much? 24. Answer for this question is option C. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Question number 3. Again a similar kind of question. Question number 3 which I told you sometime before it was asked in the year 2013. The sides of a triangle are in the ratio 1 by 4 is to 1 by 6 is to 1 by 8. LCM of the denominator 4, 6 and 8. It is 24. 4 into 6 is 24. 6 into 4 is 24. 8 into 3 is 24. 6 into 1 is 6. 4 into 1 is 4, 
3 into 1 is 3. That means indirectly they are saying that the ratio is nothing but how much? The ratio is nothing but 6 is to 4 is to 3. I hope the idea is clear, sir. 6 is to 4 is to 3 is the ratio. Now, read the next statement. And its perimeter is 91 centimeter. That means according to the ratio, perimeter of this triangle is 6 plus 4, 10. 6 plus 4, 10. 10 plus 3, 13. But question says it is not 13 beta, it is 91. 13 into 7 is 91. Okay. We understood that multiplying factor is 7. Read the next statement. The difference of the length of longest side and that of shortest side is how much? What is the difference between longest side and shortest side? According to ratio, longest side is 6. According to ratio, shortest side is 3. The difference between 6 and 3. According to ratio, the difference is 3. According to question, how much they are asking? 3 also multiply by the same multiplying factor 7. Answer is 7 into 3, 21 centimeters, which is nothing but option D. I hope that it is very, very clear how beautifully by using a method of ratios you can solve this question rather than by using variable kind of methodology. Fourth question. Fourth question. See this question, sir. The length of two sides of an isosceles triangle. This is very important. The length of two sides of an isosceles triangle are 15 and 22 respectively. What are the possible values of perimeter? Now see here, sir. This is a very easy question. First thing which we need to know is isosceles triangle means two sides should be same. Now one of the side is 15, other side also might be same 15 and the non-equal side might be the other side which is given in the question as 22. This is one possibility or one of the side is 15, other side might be 22 and another third side also might be 22. This is the other possibility. Perimeter in this case is 15 plus 15, 30, 30 plus 22 is 52. Answer should be 52. That means third and fourth option does not contain 52. They both are ruled out. And you don't need to check the second triangle also. If there is another tri option which does not have 52, but in the given values or the in the given options, two triangles are having 52. So I need to definitely check with my other value or the other triangle also. So here the third, second perimeter is 22 plus 22, 44. 44 plus 15 is 59. Either the perimeter can be 52 or the perimeter can be 59. Answer for this question is 52 comma 59, which is nothing but option A. Very, very easy question, sir. Now, this question, I solved it. Okay. I solved first three questions, right, sir? I solved it without using variables like this. Now, this question was given in terms of triangle. A triangle is having only three sides and sides ratio was given. Perimeter was given, you need to find either the longest side or the smallest side or the difference between longest and smallest. Similar kind of questions we solved, first three questions. That was a case of triangle. Can I solve this kind of question for a quadrilateral because our heading says perimeters of triangle and quadrilateral. Same extension of logic can I extend it for quadrilateral as well? Definitely yes. Please see my question number 5. You will understand it, how you can solve it. There is no difference at all, sir. This is the beauty about learning through concept. The question says, the sides of a quadrilateral, how many sides will be there for a quadrilateral? 4. Quad is nothing but 4. The sides of a quadrilateral are in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5 is to 6. Let me call the 4 sides of a quadrilateral as 
ए बी सी डी द रेशो इज गिवन एज थ्री इज टू फोर इज टू फाइव इज टू सिक्स दिस इज द फस्ट पॉइंट एंड इट्स पेरीमीटर इज सेवेंटी टू दट मीन अकॉर्डिंग टू द रेशो अकॉर्डिंग टू द रेशो द पेरीमीटर इज नथिंग बट थ्री प्लस फोर सेवन सेवन प्लस फाइव ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व प्लस सिक्स एटीन बट क्वेश्चन सेज इट इज नॉट एटीन सेंटीमीटर्स इट इज सेवेंटी टू सेंटीमीटर्स एटीन इंटू फोर इज सेवेंटी टू फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ इट्स ग्रेटेस्ट सैड ग्रेटेस्ट सैड अकॉर्डिंग टू रेशो इज सिक्स अकॉर्डिंग टू क्वेश्चन इज हाउ मच सिक्स आलसो मल्टीप्लाई बै फोर सिक्स इंटू फोर इज ट्वेंटी फोर which is option a i am telling you sir this kind of way of problem solving you can actually solve with practice without using pen in your exam if this kind of question comes in your examination then you should definitely tell to yourself that wow i don't even deserve a pen for this question and you should solve this question within 3 to 4 seconds of time and i am damn sure that this is possible i am not joking it is definitely possible provided you practice a little more before your main examination i hope the idea is very clear for you people sir next question question number 6 ssc cgl tier 1 re examination question which happened in the year july 2014 now question says three circles of radii 3.5 4.5 and 5.5 cm touch each other externally actually diagram is not given in the question they haven't given this diagram in the question when this question appeared in the exam i have written it already so that i don't need to write it and waste my time while explaining that is the intention of writing well in advance now there are three circles circle 1 circle 2 circle 3 these three circles are touching externally okay they are touching externally that means externally touching circles is what i have written now the three circles are having radii 3.5 first circle suppose this, if this is the center of the circle which according to the diagram is not true but assume that that is the center this is 3.5 radii this also is radii of the radius of the circle 3.5 only second circle from center till this point is 4.5 yes that is the radius this also is the radius of the second circle 4.5 third circle if i call this center as c this is nothing but 5.5 this also is the radius which is 5.5 that means can i say that if i join the centers of three circles that is what they have given then the perimeter of the triangle formed by joining the centers of three circles is how much now if i join the centers of three circles i will get a triangle one of the side of triangle is ab ab is 3.5 plus 4.5 which is 8 another side of the triangle is bc bc is nothing but 4.5 plus 5.5 which is 10 another side is ca ca is nothing but 5.5 plus 3.5 which is 9 so 10 plus 9 is 19 19 plus 8 is 27 answer for this question is 27 which is nothing but option a please listen carefully sir this is a very easy question but it was asked in cgl tier 1 question people who are again assuming that cgl questions will be very difficult especially with respect to mensuration please remove that negative thought from your mind yes probably from the last 2 to 1 and a half year the level of questions might have increased but that does not mean that you cannot solve it in the right way you will solve it i will make you solve have patience keep listening to all the varieties of questions i have only completed very limited portions in mensuration till now i have a lot to be completed covering every variety of model have patience keep on listening sir next question question number 7 Question number seven says, if the sides of an equilateral triangle are increased by twenty, thirty, and fifty percentage respectively, 
to form a new triangle then the increase in the perimeter of the equilateral triangle is how much how much did the perimeter increase by now this is my old triangle let me first write my old triangle and next right side let me write my new triangle so that you will be able to distinguish or differentiate between them very easily now suppose i have a triangle like this right i have a triangle like this now i will call this triangle as abc what i will do is there are three sides of this triangle abc i will call all the three sides as 100 100 100 100 first thing why are we calling it as 100 because question is given in terms of percentage i have told you in my percentage class also and in many other topics also whenever percentage is involved always work with that number called as 100 and why am i taking all the three sides as 100 itself because all the three sides are increased by some percentage okay uh, i will take other side as multiple of 100 i will take this side as 200 and the other side as 300 question says equilateral triangle beta right all the three sides should be equal also right yes i understood that if i take first value 100 for the purpose of percentage i can take second and third value some other multiples of 100 also because in percentage any multiple of 100 will give me for whole number value but i will also make sure that the condition given in the question as equilateral triangle is satisfied all the three sides should be same 100 that means perimeter of old triangle is how much 100 plus 100 plus 100 300 beautiful next i will form a new triangle now this triangle one of the side is increased by 20 percent 20 percent of 120 increase this becomes 120 30 percent increase this becomes 130 50 percent increased this becomes 150 now i think you might have realized why i took 100 100 100 itself if i take any other number suppose for example i will take here as some number seven Suppose BC value is 7, 20% of 7, 10% of 7 is 0 0.7, 20% is 1.4, from 7, 1.4 increase, this side would have been 8.4, why are you wasting your time by calculating all those things, 20% is 120, 30% is 130, 50% means 150, within seconds you will get it, now the perimeter of the new triangle is, how much totally increase from 300 50 30 and 20 that means 100 increased so it is 400 now i need to find the percentage increase in the perimeter initially it was 300 your initial value should always come in the denominator i have told it several times 300 is becoming 400 that means there is an increase of how much there is an increase of 100 how much ever increase that is happening should come in the numerator 100 by 300 is 1 by 3 1 by 3 is nothing but 33.33 percentage which is nothing but option b very easy way of solving the questions Question number 8. Again, a very, very good question. SSC CGL prelims examination question in the year 2003. Question number 8. The perimeter of a triangle is 30 centimeter. Okay. Perimeter is given as 30 centimeters and its area is 30 centimeters square. Okay. Area is also given. Very good, sir. Area of the triangle is 30 centimeters square. Beautiful. That means, can I say that? perimeter is sum of three sides if a b c are the sum or the three sides perimeter is a plus b plus c now it is given in the question that if the largest side measures 13 centimeter what is the length of the smallest side now let us think that let us think that smallest side is a largest side is c a plus b plus largest side is given as 13 a plus b plus 13 is 30 a plus b will be 30 minus 13 which is 17 that means two sides are two sides sum is 17 and 
other side is given as 13. Now think logically sir, sum of two sides should be 17. If I list out the cases, 1 plus 16 is 17, 2 plus 15 is 17, 3 plus 14 is 17, 4 plus 13 is 17, 5 plus 12 is 17. When I write this 5 12, suddenly something should strike your mind. Sir, how will it strike my mind suddenly? We have already discussed a beautiful concept in right angle triangles. One of the side is 5, another side is 12 and the largest side it is mentioned in the question as 13 itself. 5, 12, 13 forms a right angled triangle, Pythagorean triplet. That means uh, this 13 is given in the question and we know that sum of two sides should be 17. Yes, 5 plus 12 is also 17 and we also should make sure that uh, area should be 30. Let us check it out. If it is a right angle triangle, 13 will be hypotenuse. This is 12 and 5, half into base into height. 12 into 5 is 60. What is half of 60? It is 30. Because every condition given in the question is true. My assumption of 5, 12, 13 is also true. My question is find the smallest side of the triangle. Answer is 5 centimeters, which is option C. I believe that you should be able to understand this kind of beautiful logic, sir. This is the way you need to solve it and understand it and implement it. Not by using the traditional methods what you have learnt as A plus B 17 means I will have one equation there. I will create another equation from area. I will solve both the equations and waste my time. Is that the method what A and C students need to implement? Definitely no. Question number 19. Question number 19. SSC CGL prelims examination question in the year 2004. Question number 19. The area of a triangle is 216 cm square. Okay. And its sides are in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5. Whenever you see this number 3, 4, 5, again suddenly it should strike your mind that 3, 4, 5 is nothing but a Pythagorean triplet. Even if it is 3, 4, 5 multiplied with some numerical value k, that also will form a Pythagorean triplet. It's a derived Pythagorean triplet. So definitely it's a right angle triangle. Find the perimeter of the triangle. Now, first of all, area according to the ratio, half into base into height. It is half into base is 4, height is 3. 3 into 4 is 12. Half of 12 is 6. According to the ratio, area is 6. According to the question, area is 216. This area is in centimeter square. So, this also is in centimeter square. Multiply by 36 centimeter square. That means uh, your multiplying factor is in centimeter square. Find the perimeter. According to the ratio, perimeter is 3 plus 4, 7, 7 plus 5, 12. According to the question, how much they are asking? This perimeter 12 is in centimeter. That means that this final output also should be in centimeter. That means your multiplying factor should also be in centimeter. I have 36 as centimeter square, but I want multiplying factor to be only in centimeter. That means I should take the multiplying factor as the square root of 36. Square root of 36 is 6. Answer is 12 into 6, which is 72 centimeter. Is it difficult, sir? Definitely, I don't think so. For you people, it is not difficult for me for sure. I know it. But for you people also, I don't think so. It is difficult. Next question. Question number 10. A circle, okay, now we are discussing about a circle, okay, no problem. A circle and a rectangle have the same perimeter. Perimeter of circle, perimeter of rectangle, absolutely the same thing, okay. The sides of a rectangle are 18 and 26 centimeters. This is a rectangle, this is 26 centimeters, this is 18 centimeters. Perimeter of this rectangle is 26 plus 18 is nothing but 44. 44 into 2 because these two sides are also 26 and 18. 
88. Perimeter of rectangle is 88. So perimeter of circle also happens to be 88 centimeter. Find the area of the circle. That means the perimeter of circle is nothing but the circumference of the circle. Circumference is 2 pi r. This is 88. This is 2 into pi value is 22 divided by 7 into r. This is 88. So this is 44 into 1, 44 into 2. R value is 2 multiplied by 7, 14 centimeter. If R is 14, then area is nothing but pi R square. So this is 22 by 7 into 14 into 14. 7 into 1, 7 into 2. That means your answer is 22 into 28. There is no need for you to solve this 22 into 28 in this question because 2 into 8 is 16. Unit digit in the answer should be equal to 6. And there is only one option with unit digit 6. These are all the smartest way you should definitely know to solve the question faster. Answer is 616 for this question which is nothing but option D. Last question in this particular topic. Last question in this particular topic. Very easy question. Virginal exam question. Perimeter and length of a rectangle are 40 and 12 centimeters respectively. 12 meters respectively. That means the length of the rectangle is given as 12. Perimeter is given as 40. That means this also is 12. Out of total 40, 40 meter perimeter, this is 12, this is 12. So 12 plus 12, 24 is over. 24 is over already. That means remaining is 40 minus 24, 16. And this 16 should be equally divided among these two. So this should be 8. This also should be 8. Find its breadth is the question. That is what we found out just now. Very easy question, right, sir? You should be lucky enough to get such kind of easy questions. Answer for this question is 8 meters, which is nothing but option B. I hope these 11 questions, although they are not difficult questions, I believe that it is very clear for every student who is watching this video.